In sunny Los Angeles, Andrea and Chloe are hungry. So it's chicken nuggets, huh? Yeah. That's easy. But full of love. And after five years together, they're recently engaged. I found her <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, you're really beautiful and I want to you know, get to know you. Now they plan to make their union official. We're going to get married in Vegas, We're on the moon. I don't care. We're going to get married. To get married. 100%. Yeah. And these two have a special sort of romance that's supersized. Watching her eat, that's what turns me on. I'm the feeding. She's the feeder. That's a huge rib. Yes, ma'am. I'm a huge girl. Mm. Chloe has always been sexually attracted <laughs> to BBWs, big, beautiful women. So now, in order for their love to grow, so must Andrea's waistline. I love that cake. You made that? Yep. I think it is superficial for me to only be attracted to large women, but that is my preference. And if she's not into it, then there's no reason for the relationship to work. When Andrea first met Chloe, she wasn't looking for a feeder. She was looking for a man and thought she'd hit the jackpot because back then, Chloe was Jose. I was in love with Jose. He looked like a biker dude, beard and scary bandana wearing, sports loving type guy. But Jose was hiding a secret. I felt like I was living the life that people expected me to live. But in my mind, I wanted to be somebody else and a life-changing event forced Jose to a self-realization. Woke up, my face was starting to droop, went to the hospital. They said, it sounds like you're having a stroke. The doctor pulled me aside and said, there was a possible chance that Jose may not make it through the night. I was like, I'm too young to die from this and die not being truthful to myself and to her. So I decided to tell her and I was like, okay, I gotta tell you something. I want to be a trans woman, I want it to look like one. After recovering from this near-death experience, Chloe was born. It's amazing, the transformation over the years. We've created Chloe together. I only see Chloe, that other person is just, he's fading away, he's not even here anymore. But with Jose transitioning to Chloe, it left a gaping hole for Andrea in the relationship. I've never been attracted to women. When I met her, I signed up to have a boyfriend. And now Andrea wants to fill this void by bringing a boyfriend into their lives. Even like as a teenager, I've always had the fantasy of just having two lovers, two men, and I'd be the woman. But she has to get Chloe to agree to it. Are you okay doing the whole polyamorous thing, even after we're married? Chloe doesn't look too excited at the prospect of this. But that's what Andrea wants before she commits to marriage. Extreme love. You've never seen love like this before. Premieres Friday on WeTV.